Good morning, my friend. What up? Time for a cup of coffee. Is there hope? I want to talk about hope this morning. But first, this is Len. This is Coffee with Len. This is Northern Baja, the beautiful Pacific Ocean. Sorry, I'm a couple minutes later today, Betty. You can see how much brighter it is. You can. Yesterday, somebody said that the video was dark. You could barely see me. Once again, I don't see any comments yet, but I know you're there. Good morning, everybody. So I'm continuing on with the, the, talk, the talk about uh, autoimmune and uh, uh, leaky gut, et cetera. I did a live yesterday. So it's up on my Facebook wall, on my Facebook timeline. And if you weren't there, go watch it. It's got a lot of good information in it. The beautiful message is a message of hope. So in today's episode in Betrayal, there was a woman, for example, a woman was discussed who had, she had, uh, I, you know, I'm not sure what she had. I'm not, it, it, it's not even relevant. But what, what she was told by a conventional medicine doctor was that there was no hope. She could not be cured. Diet had nothing to do with what was wrong with her. She was going to have to have a uh, her lower bowel removed, wear a colostomy bag for the rest of her life, and be on very strong medications to suppress her immune system. And she didn't accept that diagnosis. And she went to a functional medicine doctor, and within three weeks, her symptoms were completely gone. This is... 15 years later, she has no symptoms, she didn't have surgery, she isn't on any medication, and she's living a normal, healthy life. And it was all diet, all food. And that's the message, that's the real message of this whole series. And it's the message um, of yesterday's talk by me that we're entering a new era of medicine. That the conventional wisdom of just treating the body as little bits and pieces and shoving pills at people is on its way out. We're, we've got to make a change. And, and we are making a change. And functional medicine is making the change. Holistic medicine is making the change. And for each and every one of us, for all my friends, I have a very good friend who is a young lady, substantially younger than me, <laughs> and everyone's younger than me now, uh, but she had, she wears a, a colostomy bag. She had her bowel, bowel removed, about, you know, I'm going to say about 10 years ago now. And of course, back then, nobody knew. As I've said before, my wife died from, I don't believe she died from cancer. I believe she died from treatment for cancer 15 years ago now and of course we didn't know if i knew then what i know today i don't think i think she would still be with me and that's a very sad thing to realize it's very sad to look back on the life uh, on the loss of a loved one at a relatively young age she was early 60s uh, to look back at somebody on, on a rel at a relatively young age who it was very close, and we lost, and realized if we had known then what we know now, we could have done something different, and probably, probably been able to save her life. Never know for sure. But that's the message going forward. The message going forward for all of us is to be healthy. First, love yourself. You know, if you don't love yourself, who else is going to? If you're not taking care of your body, why not? Why aren't you taking care of it? Don't you like yourself? Why are you feeding it crap? Why are you making yourself sick? Don't you like yourself? That question was asked today. As, as my good friend Chip Pennard pointed out to me yesterday, Chip, if you're on here, good morning. I don't see any comments yet. I'm going to assume everybody's there. Somebody hits some hearts or likes or something. Those usually show up, and that tells me somebody's there. But if you're there, Betty, 
uh, Chip. Good morning, Joe. Ah, there you go. Now, maybe that's the secret. Maybe that's the secret. As soon as somebody hits something, everybody shows up. Linda, good morning. Cynthia, good morning. Look at all these people that are there. Betty, good morning. Uh, Kathy, good morning. Uh, Dee, good morning. Let's see, who else can I find? I can't read. One of, them, one of them's up here. I can't read it. It's faded out. Wow, good morning. So, so this is empowering. That's the message. This is empowering. What's empowering is, is that we have more control over our health than we've been led to believe. See, we were raised, think about this. When you were a kid growing up, if you got sick, you went to the doctor, and you believed that the doctor, A, had your best interest at heart, and B, knew what to do. And that may have been true 50 years ago, but it's not true today. Your doctor still may have your best interest at heart, but he doesn't know what to do, he or she, because they haven't been trained in all of this new stuff that is emerging. And there's, you know, in the series that I've talked about the last several days, Betrayal, there are so many stories of people that were told by conventional doctors for 10, 15, 20 years that there was nothing that could be done, that they were they were just destined to their fate. They had to live in their wheelchair. They couldn't walk. They couldn't talk. They couldn't. They were losing their eyesight. They, they, they had irritable bowel syndrome. They had all these different diseases. And miraculously, with minor changes and sometimes major changes in diet and, and, and lifestyle, <laughs> they didn't have any of those things anymore. They all went away or they, or they modified or they become substantially better. So the message is a message of hope and a message of change in the way we approach medicine in this country now. And we need to be ever cautious of the idea that doctor knows best because your doctor may not, does not know best and that we have to be in charge of our own health care. Cynthia, good morning. I just changed doctors to have a doctor that makes a little more, thinks a little more like I do. Yeah. There is always hope. Yes, yes, Cynthia. Yeah. Well, there's hope as long as you believe. You see, you know, again, uh, I'm rattling on a little long this morning, but again, one of the one of the things that was portrayed today in betrayal was the, the doctor whom you trust looking you in the eye, telling you there's nothing they can do. They're just going to have to do surgery, and you're going to have to be on these super strong. Uh, yeah. The thing they do, the thing that conventional medicine does in many cases is suppresses the one system that you need to have functioning fully in order to recover, and that's your immune system. You see, when we take someone with cancer and we give them chemotherapy, we shut down their immune system, and the person needs the immune system to cure the cancer. When we take someone with irritable bowel syndrome and we give them strong medicine, steroids or something, and shuts down their immune system, then they get worse. They don't get better. Now, that doesn't mean to say that there aren't times when surgeries or chemo or things like these things are necessary, but they're not, they're not the be-all, do-all, save-all that we've been led to believe by conventional medicine. We've been lied to. Conventional medicine has been lied to. Your doctor's been lied to. He's been lied to by Big Pharma, who's pushing pills and making money at your expense. It's that simple. It's that simple. So, eat healthy, my friend. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. You have more power than you realize to, to make your body healthy and to keep it healthy for a very long time. And as I've said before, and more than ever, I am absolutely 100% convinced that the human body is designed to last at least 120 years, maybe longer. It is true. Don't we love ourselves enough to take care of our, cell, our, our, our bodies? But, but we need to educate people. Yeah, it's like we're doing. Thank you, Betty. Yeah, yeah, we need to educate people. We just, you know, and I have another very good friend who shall be named Nameless here. But she's got all of these things going on. All of them. So many of them. And she just doesn't believe 
me that her doctor doesn't know what to do. She keeps going and trusting her doctor. And every time she goes to the doctor, they adjust her medications. And she, she comes home and she doesn't feel good. She feels worse. She's not getting better. That's not the answer. Adjusting the medications is not the answer. Adjusting your diet might be the answer. It's that simple. And it's that complicated. Because if you have to give up gluten or dairy or some of these things that we're all used to and love, you know. But it, but as all the people that have recovered from these diseases will tell you, it's a small price to pay to have your life back. So there is hope. You're in charge. And that's really all I have to say today. Thank you for listening. Sorry I rattled on a little long. Hope you got value. Remember to be happy. And remember to be compassionate. And the final comment I'll make about the, the series Betrayal, once again to remind you, and I will remind you again you know, over the next several days, is that over the weekend, the series is open for free to anyone who wants to go watch any or all of the videos. There's a I'm going, to, I'm going to say there's probably about between 8 and 10 hours of video. So if you haven't seen any of it, it might be hard to squeeze it all into the weekend. But it might be well worth it for you. And especially, especially if you or a loved one or a family member or a friend has any of the symptoms that we've discussed or the autoimmune or leaky gut or any of that stuff going on, that you can learn what to do about it and develop an approach that can save your life. Save your life and make give you the ability to live your life fully. And I'm not going to say you're going to make it to 120. Many of us have done enough damage that we probably won't get that far. I know I certainly did as a youth. I did enough damage to my body that <laughs> it's going to be a it's going to be a miracle if it makes 120, but I'm still planning on 100. My birthday party will be at Kirkwood Meadows, and I will be snow skiing. Come join me. We'll talk again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now. Yep, Betty, so many think the doctor knows it all. And Betty, and he said, yeah, it's an awesome series. And, and yeah, but Betty... Your doctor knows what he's been trained to know. She or he or she has been trained to know in medical school. And remember, the sad reality is that Big Pharma has hijacked medical education. Your doctors are trained to push pills. That's what they're trained to do. They're not trained to treat disease. They're trained to push pills. They're not trained to treat you as a person. They're trained to push pills. That's the sad reality. We'll talk again. Bye for now.